Thank you. For a moment, you became the guest speaker. <laughs> Professor Kebwana, please come. I see the governor has taken away the big microphone so that I still remember I'm not the governor. <laughs> uh, comrade Julius Malema, uh, Commander-in-Chief, uh, Patrick uh, Lumumba, uh, Professor, uh, uh, Martha, uh, Vice, uh, Chancellor, uh, and all you know, those who are of this family, and particularly the students. Hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Um, you know, after I stopped being a politician, <laughs> an active politician, I, I, I speak few words. I want to appreciate uh, Malema, who has taken time from his work in South Africa uh, to come and be with us during the launch of a very important institute. Uh, I want to thank Lumumba for showing Malema the way to this place. And both of them getting involved in a big dream. Um, I know what you do is tough because I've also been there. There was a time I was the spokesperson of the pro-democracy movement in Kenya in the 90s. And sometimes you do certain things and you're marked. I know because Malema, you say Africa should belong to all of us, you're kind of marked. I remember Lumumba when he said MPs were not doing the right things with the Constituency Development Fund. They marked him. But where there is the obstacle, that is the way. So I want to encourage you and to encourage these young people who are here uh, listening, participating in this major uh, event. Uh, just a few things. One to say, as somebody who was in the subnational level here in Kenya, Pan Africanism should be built also on that plank of how we make sure that our subnational governments work. Because as matters stand, they are suffocated, particularly by the national level. Secondly, as you uh, briefed the media, you talked about the diaspora. I think for Pan-Africanism also to work, that diaspora needs to be mobilized. Indeed, Kenyans who work outside Kenya, because at some point Kenya was a bit hostile, uh, have moved many countries and have done beautiful things even in South Africa. So that diaspora is important in terms of this agenda. Uh, the youth uh, are critical because we are building Africa with and for them. And again, when you arrived at Jomo Kenyatta uh, Airport, you were able to say that Pan-Africanism must be built on the shoulders of young people who are our present and future. And indeed, uh, the African Youth Charter is very eloquent in terms of, like when one looks at Article 10, 11, how the youth of Africa can be part of uh, mobilizing Pan-Africanism. Uh, so that's a charge we give you everywhere you go to talk to the youth of Africa, to tell them it is time for them to uh, take back their uh, continent. Uh, Lukenya have been here uh, severally, uh, Governor Mutula, when uh, I was a governor like you, and this is a prime institution. And I would ask you once in a while, to come over and see what's happening. Uh, and I hope that with, the, with this institute uh, being inaugurated, uh, you will also take the step of uh, having a department of Pan-African Studies so that 
students can come here and study uh, Pan-African uh, studies. Uh, let me conclude. Um, uh, I don't know why Wanjigi didn't think of also offering me uh, then uh, the deputy presidential. <laughs> Maybe he thought my politics are radical. <laughs> let me end by Africa Arise, a poem. Sometimes in my solitude, I write poems. Um, Africa Arise. Are we damned? Are you doomed? Cradle of ancient civilization. Hopeless continent. Refuge for legendary poverty, disease, hunger. Decomposing continent. Sanctuary of death. Mother of the world. What happened? What happened, Africa? I hear your lullaby carried by the wind, harmed by a sobbing mama. We survived alien rape. Don't you cry. We'll survive sibling, sibling plunder. Wipe your tears. We shall overcome homemade wars and scars. What about a smile? Smile, we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Laugh. Oh, Africa, land of eternal hope, gather your treasure, your promise, your resilience, your people for the safari of Harambe, Ujamaa, Utu, Ubuntu. Self-discovery, we must reclaim our past, our culture, our innocence, our self-confidence, our soul, our children, our future. Wake up, giant. Arise, my people. Arise, Africa, arise. Your time has come to teach the world how to be a neighbor, how to live in community, honest work, how to share, how to love, how to be humane. Arise, Africa. Our time has come. Asanteni and arise, Lukenya University. Thank you. Thank you. To our chief guests, of course, accompanied by PLO Lumumba, we have missed you in the public scene. <laughs> Every time you speak, we take our notebooks because we are going to learn one or more complicated words. <laughs> so this is a very good initiative, and I'm going to say why it is a good initiative. I bothered to travel to South Africa. <laughs>